the Solar Dynamics Observatory, viewing the sun in high energy wavelengths. Both of these are from ionized iron. 131 angstroms on the right showing every flare as brightness, with the coronal plasma on the left and 171 angstroms in much more detail. This is the destabilization of a plasma filament, followed by excited magnetic fields in the local area above the incoming sunspot group. You may have noticed the energetic event did not produce a coronal mass ejection. You may also have noticed that while the yellow view shows more detail, it cannot capture the X-ray emission of excited plasma within those post-eruptive fields beyond a certain threshold, while the blue one does. Something of note as we add ionized helium in red, note that it's normal for us to see the plasma filaments in both wavelengths pre-eruption, but the post-destabilization emission is usually confined to one or the other, especially in a small event such as this filament collapse in M-class solar flare. Here, we manage to see that signature matching in both, again with the higher detail evading the higher energy viewer in blue. To confirm the lack of an ejection, we watch the upper coronal fields. Those are the faint curving arches you see near and around the Earth's scale. Watch those arches quiver and bulge and shake but not break out into an eruption. This is how you know that your eyes were not tricking you before. It looked like the plasma filament never left the sun, and indeed, it didn't. When there is an eruption, you can usually see a portion or all of the filament releasing out of the corona, and in some, like 193 angstroms, also ionized iron, all the ejections do show in the upper corona. These were five of the best ways to watch the sun, and they are necessary elements of determining the space weather severity of any given event, and whether we should expect geomagnetic storms at Earth. For this one, we detected the X-ray light of the flare, but there was no particle ejection, and even if there was, it would not be aimed at Earth. This satellite looks directly from L1, which sits between Earth and Sun. I leave you with a neutral iron view of the solar surface and dark sunspots beneath the features we just saw in the corona, and I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.